Red light. Yay. Okay. Uh, hi. I'm Honey. And this is another vlog. So let's vlog with Honey or whatever. So oh. um, we're going to do another day of Minecon. And this is going to be day three of Minecon, which is actually day two of the um, of the convention itself. And before I really get into day three or day two of the convention, um, I have to finish telling you guys some things about the previous day. Uh, I, I'm i actually kind of surprised that I forgot one of these uh, stories, but the other one I had chosen to wait until until today because I knew I had so much to um, to cover. So anyway, um, what I'm going to um, to talk about was remember uh, in the last vlog with Minecon Day Two, I talked about the uh, the circle of friendship with um, MC Gamer, where we were stood by the by the line for B double O. Well, while we were in that circle after the whole you know T Seth Bling uh, routine and several vines from Rob. We were all sitting there and it sort of dawned on me that, you know what, this is the perfect, maybe it's because of Seth playing and the building game, because the building game is basically a game of telephone that you act out, you know, within the blocks so that you use in, in, in a building sense. And I just sort of had the idea of we should play a game of telephone. I mean, we're all in a circle, right? So that's what we did. And um, I suggested it and MC loved it. And so... He started out the first one and he went to his right, which is Rob. So it went the opposite direction, uh, the farther way away from where I was. And it didn't even make it to me. It, it, first of all, Rob was like, no, I'm not saying that. Um, I don't know what it was, but he's like, no, so I'm not saying that. And then it didn't even get very far. Uh, I got like down five people and, and, and there was like a total break. And so nobody would actually tell us what was said. So we actually played a second round. This time, again, MC started it, but it went uh, to his left, gotta think, <laughs> to his left. And he got it going. And what he started it out with was something like Doc M uh, is the best scientist or does the best science or something like that. And immediately people started laughing and like four people down people started laughing um and it went to kaiser and kaiser uh is puerto rican and he has a bit of an accent uh, a lovely accent but he has a bit of an accent and so he then passed it to lady onyx who was next to me and she broke she just giggled and giggled and giggled and then when she was ready and composed she realized that she then had to pass it on to me and she started giggling all over again. So she whispers to me um, that pissing is the best science. And then to take a piss, a whiz, you know? And I'm like, what? What? So of course I start giggling um, hysterically. And uh, the two of us are sitting there laughing. Now MC is looking at the whole line going down. It's like, what? What? Everybody that gets this message is having a conniption. What is so bad? Because he just said, Doc M does the best science or is the best scientist. Or again, that, that was the point. Well, uh, we had had a couple of people from the BOO line join us um, and they were sitting next to me. So they were now like three or four just general fans. Nobody really knew them. Uh, and the girls and they were sitting there and, we, and they just sort of joined as we were doing it. So we're like, we're doing the telephone game. I'm going to tell you something and you're going to pass it on. Now, they have no clue, first of all, that I'm honey or that I'm, it's okay. I, I always giggle, you know, like this. Um, <laughs> but they were looking at me like, like something was wrong. Um, well, anyway, that I got to pass it on and it, it took forever to finally get the message all the way around the circle of friendship. But it did. It did. And when it got all the way around, um... It actually ended up being kissing is the best science and you know at much laughs were had so at some point it broke down a few after me from pissing to kissing um, and so there you go <laughs> by the time it got bad so we all kind of laughed about it and had a good time now while we were playing this game and we were laughing and I was giggling um, this is pretty much what led to the first time that I got recognized by my giggle. 
purely by my giggle. I have forgotten to put my picture out. Um, I was going to tweet it or, or, you know, like right now, if you go to my Twitch channel, you can see my picture. You can, there's a command, you can pull up face or something like that and see my picture. And I meant to put that up. Of course, now there's vlogs and the honey mail and all that stuff that you guys are going to be seeing lots of my face. <laughs> um, but at the time, uh, other than, you know, a few people that I had met, um, you know, Pac knew what my face was because we had met on vacation and, and Raymond knew my face and, you know, odd mass and some, you know, some oddball people from, you know, the race for the wool community that I had, uh, you know, sent my picture from, but I was in a picture like a year earlier and I looked a lot different. And so anyway, we, we had the sensation of, we, I had the sensation of realizing that people were recognizing me by my giggle. Apparently King and Punkster were eating on a table far, far away. And my giggle was like echoing down the, the corridor and they heard it and they went, oh, there's honey. And somebody tweeted out, you know, follow the giggles, follow the honey giggles and you'll find us at MC Gamer Circle. And sure enough, literally like five minutes after we finished the game, I turned my face and I realized that that was King standing next to me. He said, hi, honey. And it's like, oh my goodness. Hi, you. Give me a hug. And he showed me where Punkster was in the line to be double O. And I gave him a hug and he actually like filmed me tell a story or something. Um, so that was actually the first video out there of me. Uh, no, I guess the vines would be the first video cause I got kind of caught in the crossfire. Anyway, um, it was really an interesting thing to have somebody come up and say, I know who you are strictly from my voice, specifically my giggle. Um, so yeah, it was really interesting. It was, um, sort of a surreal thing and that kind of carried through for the rest of the weekend. It was something that Dark had pointed out when we went to the Minecraft party, um, that first day that we got there, the day before Minecon started, that, you know what, nobody knows what you look like. So unless you giggle, you are totally incognito. Of course, I'm going to giggle. Um, uh, that's like breathing. Um, so anyway, uh, that is the leftover stories from day two. So day three starts and, uh, oh, and by the way, I mentioned that it was raining as we drove to the theme park it actually stopped and we just got very little misting in the beginning it cleared up so that was very nice very very nice because it could have been stormy and it was very cool very comfortable it was um it worked out pretty well so day three i decided uh when i told you guys i met hodge he told me that he was going to be at a panel for parodies minecraft parodies and so i decided uh, he'd asked me to go and I decided I would. Well, again, everybody was kind of um, sleeping in that morning and our hotel wasn't very far from the convention. So I just got ready and walked and uh, I ended up getting there. There's a big old line, but I got there and I sat like 10 minutes and then they let us all in and I got to meet uh, Hodge again and watch that panel, which is uh, only one of two panels that I watched, which was a lot of fun. And to be honest, I really wasn't particularly there for panels if I went to one I went to one um if I didn't I didn't um it really wasn't uh, that big a deal to me meeting everybody that's what I wanted to do I wanted to meet everyone and um and like I said I did I did a lot of that uh, lots of hugs and lots and lots of of uh, meeting everybody so you know we kind of walked around we spent time you know Majority of my time at the convention was spent walking around outside of the exhibition hall. I did go in there and we looked, but you know, meh. Um, I did go, uh, you know, I, I, like I say, I went to that panel, I went to the Minecraft panel and it was just, you know, other than that, in a real, you know, in a quick walk through the exhibition hall, I was pretty much roaming the open areas just visiting with people, you know, going from one group of people I recognize to another and, uh, and just getting to say hi and how are you and just hang out. Um, so anyway, we got to, we got to go to the Minecraft panel. Now, Six Alona was in line early, early, early. And by the time I was out of my panel, we were kind of like, okay, let's meet up. Where is everybody? And I came across Lady and we were heading, um, we were going to, we were heading to the Minecraft panel. We figured we better get there early well as we were walking by we actually were walking by like the uh, the panelist 
room like the you know if you were a panelist you could get inside there was security out there they had drinks and a lounge and basically a hideout spot um and so we were walking past there and just sort of on our way and i was catching up a lady because she had uh, arrived later driving with uh, six and dark fam and so we were just sort of chatting and all of a sudden behind me i hear hey honey and i turn around and there was b dubs and i had met um got to meet him the day before and so uh he puts his arms out i gave him a big hug and you know lady talked to him for a minute and we were talking and lady says well i'm going to go ahead and go on to stand in line and you know you're fine just catch up honey and so that's what i did and i actually told him twice as we were talking i'm like you know um if uh, I, I can go if i'm you know you, you i feel bad taking your time and i assumed that he was just on his way to the panelist room just to chill out and he's like no and it was really nice because it was just the two of us there was no swarm of people and, uh, and it was also kind of nice because you know we were in front of him he didn't have to call me out and so we talked we talked about the price of things and we talked about um about kids and uh He's so, just like all the rest of the guys, he's so very genuinely nice and very, very humble. And so we got to talk for a bit and he said, you know, I really wish uh, we could, I wish you guys didn't have to sit there, you know, stay in there in line all that time. I really wish we could just take all the people, you know, that we know that are friends and, you know, just sort of sneak them in. And it's like, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. So eventually we parted ways. He went in to uh to uh, chill out before the uh before the panel and i walked on down and uh, got caught up with lady and i got there right as the doors were opening and they were letting everybody in which was a good thing because oh my goodness there was a ton of people that line went forever so they let everybody in we had to sit down and we were there early before like half an hour before the the panel was set to start well about 20 minutes before the panel was set to start in walks all the mind crackers and they're just like you know we can't officially start but uh, we can entertain you guys for a while and so they just sort of did this impromptu thing i'm sure you guys um you know i'm sure you guys have seen it um if you haven't check it out the the pre minecraft panel panel um it was just so much fun they all um yeah they were all just sort of teasing each other and talking and uh and getting the crowd into it and really consummate professionals they were fantastic so we got to watch that it was a great panel it was a great panel good really ran it well he had questions prepared in advance had people to ask them to everybody got to have plenty of time it didn't feel rushed and um and it was really it was really nice and there were community questions so even though they didn't take people standing up and asking random questions they had questions that were more meaningful because they could already kind of pull from a community poll so anyway, that was awesome. And when it was over, it was kind of, it was basically almost time for the closing ceremony. You know, there wasn't much time for the closing ceremony. And again, we sort of walked around, we visited. Some people didn't even want to go to the closing ceremony. I ended up going after it was already started. And really, it, it was, it, <laughs> it was a closing ceremony. It was okay. Uh, <laughs> um... It was okay. There was a lot of flashing lights. Uh, I had to move. I was so tired. If I sat down, I thought for sure I would just fall asleep. I really did. I thought for sure I would just fall asleep. So I kind of was pacing around in the back. And um, and it was really neat because Nihon Tiger tied first place for a building competition. And so he won uh, uh, an Alienware rig, a full gaming computer, and... Uh, assigned Xbox from all the Mojangsters. So that was great. And then it was time to leave. And, you know, there was sort of, um, we kind of got buzz from a couple of the, you know, a couple of the crackers here and there. Oh, oh my goodness, I totally forgot. What happened between the panel and and the closing ceremony? Well, all the Minecrackers came out and they all had basically, uh, they had tables set up. Finally, these guys had been standing around, um, uh, taking autographs for hours and hours and hours. So they had tables set up with water and the place for them to sit. And they had this huge line to sign, but all the crackers were all lined up. So every one of the mine crackers were there. They had like this big wrap around L set up. And um, we were kind of hanging out 
by the tables over in some seating areas just talking and at the, at, t- at the tail end you know lady really wanted to be able to get a hold of um she wanted to give jenny a hug before he left and she really wanted to just tell him how much he was um he was going to be missed you know and so at one point towards the end the line was almost over and six alona had basically said uh called out hey um jenny just so you know uh we've uh, honey and lady would really like to have a word with you before you know it's all over and before you know it they're like jenny literally says okay have him come on through and we literally got to go in line and get you know and like get autographs with all, all the mind crackers now i could care less about their autographs i told you guys before i just wanted to get handshakes and hugs and just say hi it's been great watching you knowing you uh working with you in some cases um just knowing of each other in some cases and um anyway so we got to go through and it was kind of like one of those weird surreal moments because it was like you know friends of the mind crackers you know because there's this lady like guarding end of line sorry and they they cut people off and sent them because they wouldn't have time and so people had to leave that wanted the autographs and then next thing you know like lady and i slip in and and a whole bunch of other people just sort of slipped in behind us. And um, I went ahead and got signatures that day. Uh, I'd asked, um, like I asked Paws and I asked Beef and um, and I got to talk to them in a, in a rare moment where they were alone too. Uh, I had asked a few people earlier, a B-dubs when I saw him, just because, you know, hey, it would be really nice for my daughters. Don and Sky basically are like, you know, you get to go to Minecon, can we at least get some autographs? And so that's what I did. And Sunday I was like, you know, lady kind of kicked me in the butt and said, you better do it today because this is it. You know, you got to do it today or forever hold your peace. And those girls want signatures. So all of a sudden, wow, I have everybody's signature. And I'd already gotten probably a third of them just, you know, in passing earlier that day. So I got the rest of the signatures and I got to kind of, and I obviously skipped the people that I'd already done and just, uh, done a quick a quick chat uh doc and i had a very interesting conversation you know you just kind of had fun i got to say hi to good and he kind of looked and, and that i was honey and uh, it was neat because he looked at me he looked down he looked at me he's like honey play that's me <laughs> um and you know hey you didn't say who you were the other day because i i uh, had given him a hug on that first day and it's like well i did but you really couldn't hear it to be fair so um Anyway, it was just really neat because I got to see the rest of the people and I went through and I got signatures and, um, you know, I got to tell Nebris and, and Badge underappreciated how underappreciated they are. Um, and if it wasn't for Pac being in the uh, Cobble Haters, uh, Nebris would be my favorite of the Cobble Haters. Um, so yeah, it, w- it was really, really neat. And, um, and I'd already gotten Dinner Bone signature. Oh my goodness. Okay. Dinner Bone. Just before the whole call out, the whole weekend, I was trying to catch sight of Dinnerbone. Uh, he had told me in Skype and he had told people in, in Twitter, you know, hey, if you see me, give me a hug. So it wasn't like he was, honey, I'm going to hug you. It was just, you know, he was offering hugs for everybody. And, um, but he had told me directly that, uh, hey, if, you know, when I see you, you know, let's, I want to give you a hug or feel free to get a hug or something like that. And so I kept saying, I want to see Dinnerbone. If anybody sees Dinnerbone, well, while we were sitting there, I had just finished saying, you know, I would really like to catch dinner bone. I'm almost out of time. I want my hug. And like 30 seconds later, Ray and Tib and Mihayu are like, there's dinner bone. And I thought they were trolling me. I really did. I'm like, you know what, guys? That's not nice. And they're like, no, hun, that's dinner bone. And I actually look, and sure enough, there's Dinnerbone just sort of incognito slipping by, trying to go to the bathroom uh, on the far side, just past where the Minecraft guys were, just, you know, slipping through. And we had just seen Jeb uh, slip over there. And it was like, oh my goodness, we make a beeline over there. A couple of the guys went ahead and like, hey, honey wants to give you a hug. She's right there. And uh, so he actually said, uh, he actually said, okay, uh, but you know, uh, don't, oh, no, 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 uh, he gave us a hug, he gave Lady a hug, and he gave me a hug, 
Uh, and then I said, you know, I'm really sorry to ask, but could you sign these two for my uh, for my youngest kids? And he says, okay, but, you know, don't tell anybody that I did this because I'm not supposed to be signing anything right now. And so the guys, like the spawners, they, like Tib and Ray and Miheyu and um, – I don't know who else it was there. I, Lucky might have done it in, in Kaiser, but there were a couple other people, and they all like formed this this wall of flesh um, to like blockade and hide us. And so he signed Dinnerbone on the two autograph little autograph notebooks. Um, and let me tell you, Lady and I analyzed his hugs later at the hotel, and Dinnerbone has the hug foo. Um, that was Lady's description. He's a great hugger. Oh my goodness. He pulls you in close, not too, but not creepy. Uh, held you nice and tight. Um, I started to let go because like, you know, I, I don't want to, for everybody's hugs, I kind of like, you know, gave you a hug and then let go. I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. And he's like, nope, I'm not letting go. I was like, all right, I'll go back in and write out the hug, you know? So it was great. Just, he's such a real person. And so we had fun with that. Um, anyway, and then everything just sort of ended, you know, six had already, six had left right after, um, the Minecracker, uh, visit where we got to go through the line and then six had to leave. She skipped the closing ceremony and was basically heading home, uh, to Tampa, I think. And so dark had to get a ride with great Scott and Dyer and MC and lady and I didn't have a ride, but again, we were close enough. We could walk to the hotel and nobody was really sure where all we were going. We had kind of gotten, you know, told where the party was with all the crackers. And then we were, um, so we were told about it. But then uh, we, uh, the word of where it was going to be. But, you know, we weren't exactly uh, invited. Although I guess you could say you were invited if you were told the buzzword of where to go. Uh, but, you know, again, we didn't have a car. And um, dire and great. Scott and uh, Dark and, and MC ended up getting picked up and they all went and Kaiser drove us home to the hotel, dropped us off and Miheyu and Kaiser had said, you know, hey, look, Miheyu said, I'm going to have a get together at our condo, uh, townhouse, whatever it was that they had a timeshare thing and said, hey, we're going to have a get together. And if you want to come, come, you know, if you get to go to the big party, go to the big party just let us know. We can come pick you up. We're going to be going back in town to grab food and such. So, oh, uh, they were going to have sushi and pizza and drinks. And so, a uh, lady and I, we, I really stress, we need to get back and we need to pack and figure out how the heck I'm going to, um, to get to the airport. <laughs> um, but that's a story for, t for next week, I guess, for the next vlog. So, we got everything packed. We got everything set. Uh, we actually, she logged on Pack Rat Stream and we said hi from Minecon and uh texted me hey you and said you know yeah we'd love to come over if that's okay and um and yeah he came out he picked us up we picked up some super cheap sushi oh my goodness i want sushi that price and um and they already had uh, uh i think Domino's delivered by the time we got there and we just we just spent the next few hours talking and laughing and telling stories kaiser was there Lucky was there, uh, Purple and her beautiful daughters and her husband were there, of course, me, hey, you and Ray and um, Lady Onyx and I. And we just we just spent the night laughing about everything that we had done, uh, telling stories, telling embarrassing stories, very, very embarrassing stories um, and just having a grand old time by all, you know. And so that's what we did. We we hung out. We hung out and. Uh, and we just, we just wound down and we had fun. And uh, that was day three of Minecon. And uh, next week will be the wrap up. And I hope to be able to show you guys some pictures that I took and tell you about how I got home and the epic tale of, um, of that journey. And once again, how Kaiser was a true hero and uh, and came to my rescue so there you go um i think that's it i'm gonna go ahead and end it there i forgot my timer and we are probably way 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 too long but um what you gonna do so anyway i hope you guys had fun i uh i kind of like doing these so that's it bye <laughs> um.